This is a day that none of us, whether we knew her personally or only on television, ever wanted to see happen. After 40 years of coming into your homes every day and night, this is the day we say goodbye to Dee. The farewell tour is about to end and her new life is about to begin. You're watching Idaho's News Channel 7. This is the News at 4. Welcome, Welcome everybody, everybody, to the Boise, Boise Depot on a beautiful Wednesday in June. This is a special edition of the News at 4. I'm Mark Johnson. I'm Kim Fields. And I'm Dee Sarton. And it's great to have you along today. For, For the, the last time, <laughs> Dee is, is doing, doing the news at four, four. And, and we've got, got a big crowd here that have assembled for this very momentous occasion. You can hoop and holler. Yeah, you can. As you know by now, this is Dee's final broadcasts of the news at four, news at five, and news at six in the next two hours. She's going to be in for some surprises that she, well, will be surprised over. <laughs> I have no doubt. When they told me that Mark was somewhat involved and Kim will appreciate this in, in, in organizing it, I, I started to quake a little bit in my boots. But, but thank you. I know you guys put a lot of work into these shows and it's just a privilege, such a privilege to be here. So. I love the oh, I love the view. That's yeah. our view, isn't it? Well, throughout this hour, we're going to be looking back on Dee's many accomplishments, and those that have you that have watched her over the years know just how much she has accomplished in her career. But we thought we would begin this celebration of your retirement. Uh, of our incredible friend, of our incredible colleague, by taking a look back at where it all started. So it, it started 40 years ago. Dee Sarton has been a journalist nearly her entire adult life. Just out of high school, she happened upon her first TV job. She became known as the Weather Girl at KVEW in the Tri-Cities. It's been a long time ago, but I can remember what it was like to be so scared in the newsroom, to be sent out of a story that I knew nothing about, and just to be frightened. It wasn't long before fear became fascination and would turn to a lifelong career. Dee went on to KAPP in Yakima, then took a job at KXLY in Spokane before coming home to KTVB in 1977. Can you tell us how that felt? It was easy to see, even in her first days on air here at Channel 7, that Southern Idaho had landed someone special. Someone who would politely decline all opportunities to go to larger markets and instead chose to raise her family here, at a place that allowed, even welcomed, bringing her family into the many wonderful stories she told, whether on the road with Idaho at Five or as the host of the Exploring Idaho and Incredible Idaho series. But and now that you are out, what, what do you want to do with your life? The award-winning journalist was KTVB's reporter for the John Jesse Turner hostage story, one of the biggest stories of the 90s in Idaho. She was there in Germany when he was reunited with his Boise family. That of governor. Her chops is not only a storyteller, but also a serious reporter sharpened quickly. And she became the station's political debate moderator and party headquarters correspondent on every election night. Well, folks are going for cover, but they're sticking around because as the governor said, this will pass very now, quickly. Now and when it comes to getting rattled on live TV, we've never seen it. Even while co-anchoring fair coverage with Governor Cecil Andrus during a driving rainstorm at the fairgrounds that tore apart a hay bale set, Dee was and is unflappable. For the past 15 years, she has been a frontline soldier for children looking for families to adopt them. I won't ever forget the day that they called me into a meeting and said, Dee, we want to talk to you about something. Uh, would you consider being the reporter for stories every week on children who need homes. And I mean, how would you ever say no to that? I mean, that was such a privilege really for me to be brought into that and to be um, given that responsibility. you got me. Her award-winning Wednesday's Child Segments and her board membership on the Special Needs Nonprofit Organization is forever part of who she is now and forever. You know, I fell into this business, it was just, something that happened. I didn't plan it. 
I certainly never ever in a million years thought I would work in one place for over 30 years and no, most people don't. And so to be able to do that, to raise my family in such a special place and really to be part of a station that believes we have a responsibility to make this a special place, to help in that effort, to keep it, a, what we always say, the greatest place in the world to raise your kids. It has been for us and Channel 7 has been a part of that just as a great job, great employees, great friends to work with, but also a great mission statement to try to live up to. On behalf of everyone at Idaho's News Channel 7 in Boise, thank you, Dee, and congratulations. Okay, okay I, I said I was going to try not to tear up, tear up until, until maybe at the end of the 6 o'clock. Didn't, didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's okay. get the laughs coming. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Alongside Governor, Governor Butch Otter, Otter First, First Lady Lori Otter, 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 and of course, also in retirement. Yeah, the big guy. <laughs> the big guy. And he says it's, and he, and he said you like it. He's, it's it's well, a great I have not had one, one day of seller's seller. remorse. <laughs> not one day. I was out fixing fence all morning. Oh, the big question time. though, have, have you, you had, had any remorse? <laughs> he's always around. Oh no, he's busy. He's bu we're both busy. I'm like, I, I, sometimes I'm like, I don't know how, we're not really retired. We're yeah. just like not in government anymore. So it's a little bit different. Well, well I'm, I'm so glad, glad that you're here because we were just talking about all the moments that you guys have spent with D on air, off the air over the last couple of decades. Uh, right. You know, I went through 25 elections and I think uh, as I counted right, you were part of 18 of them. Yep. Uh, in interviews on election night, and you were primary always, night, and so then uh, to come over and do an interview with me, and especially in those early years, you know, and I was like, I wonder if they'll come and talk to me. Oh, yeah. we've done the, the fair. Western yeah. Idaho yeah. State, because it wasn't I just an election. How about all the Boise State, State games? games. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, both uh, yeah. Fiesta Bowls yeah. in seven and nine, and we won because we were there. Oh, I think that was exactly <laughs> why we won. Yeah. <laughs> just ask him, he'll tell you. And you know Dee on a personal level as well. I do, you know, um, Dee was the first interview that I did when we took office, and uh, I looked at Dee for, I mean, like a lot of people do in the Valley, you know, she's just the epitome of respect and integrity and class, and when um, I went from being a PE teacher to my role, it was, Dee, who does your hair, and <laughs> how do you do this on TV stuff, and yeah. can you, and she was so gracious, she was, yeah. I will never ever forget how gracious she was about all that. All right, we got about 30 seconds. Any advice for a brand new retiree? Yes, I got lots of advice, but I can't give it uh, all to you right now. Enjoy it, enjoy it. Get a hobby, if you don't have one, other than coming to work early in the morning and leaving late at night. But get, get a hobby, hobby and be busy. busy. Stay, Stay busy. busy. Yeah. Yep. I think Come on, help me build that. Well, I, you know what? I'm a farm girl wannabe, so you just might be finding yourself well, with an extra hand. You know, and you, you may, may not know this, this Mark. One, one, one of the few things, things you probably don't know is we actually ended up with Brickster. My horse. Your horse. Right. That's right. And is it true that you took Brickster up into the mountains with the Interior Secretary? I yes. did. Yeah. Yeah. Deputy yeah. Secretary. I sort of thought that was And then, and then when, when Brickster got a little, little like, like me old, yeah. why uh, <laughs> we gave him to You put him out to pasture, yeah. just yeah. like you. <laughs> All right. Uh, this conversation is going to continue off the air, but I want to send it down the street. Alive After Five, right there, going in the Grove Plaza, and our Bree Eggers. Take it away, Bree. Mark, you know, you guys are having a great party over there. We're having one here, and we're still celebrating Dee, because there are people all across Southern Idaho that know that Dee is a true gem of the gem state. So Janet and Craig Howe of Eagle, they have a message for Dee. Hi Dee, we just want to say congratulations after on 40 years of broadcasting and being able to retire, enjoy your family. Good luck and best wishes to you. A lot of people love you down here Dee and we're going to be carrying on this party throughout the evening as well because this is the first Alive After Five of the summer season. Kicks off today, carries on every Wednesday through the entire summer until it wraps up on August 28th but we don't even need to worry about that because we've got the whole summer ahead of us and today is a good day to kick off the Alive After Five event because it feels like summer down here. I know the event is not starting just yet 
it doesn't get going until five o'clock, but we've already seen people out here playing in the fountains, cooling off, setting up, getting ready. The band, they're not even warming up. They're already just jumping into it with temperatures in the 80s. It's fantastic. So summer weather with us now, but we'll see some changes this weekend. We'll get to that seven day forecast coming up in a bit, but we have to send it out to the village Axiom Fitness where we find Will Hall to kick off National Running Day. Will? Hey, thank you very much, Bree. Welcome live outside Axiom Fitness here in Meridian. We are off the Meridian exit here. I'm gonna step out of the way, show up what's going on right now. So we're at Axiom Fitness, kind of break it down for you, as Bree alluded to. It is National Running Day. I know Bree celebrated earlier today. I know I did as well. I hope everyone else out there watching this afternoon got their mileage in. So we are at Axiom Fitness and it, it is registration day, the beginning of registration for the 2019 Fit One Boise is officially open in honor of National Running Day. All three races this fall on September 28th, the 5K, the 10K, the half marathon are all just $20 in honor of National Running Day. A special, special occasion today and today only. Now, St. Luke's does so much with Fit One and Fit One Boise and all the money that they raise. It goes back out to the community and we want to bring in Melissa here. Melissa's with Liberty Elementary and Liberty Elementary is one of those local schools that benefits from St. Luke's Fit One because you guys, I understand, have a brand new track thanks to St. Luke's Fit One. Yes, we received a grant from the St. Luke's Fit One and we're excited that we get to build a track this year for our kids and our community. So uh, how big of an impact is this for the kids in uh, being able to use this? How beneficial is that? Oh, it's huge. I mean, right now they're running um, on grass, which is uneven, and a lot of them fall and get hurt. Um, it's not accessible for everyone, and we can't use what we have now all year long in all kinds of weather. So this track is going to help make it accessible for everyone, and we'll get to use it all year long. I understand you guys aren't the only school in the Treasure Valley that benefits from St. Luke's Fit One. Mm -hmm. How special is it that an organization, organization like them just helps out so many other schools beyond just Liberty Elementary? Oh, it's so huge, um, especially in Boise School District uh, where we have a lot of older schools that maybe don't have tracks yet. Um, this grant was just so, so significant for our community and um, any other you know school that could take advantage of that. Melissa, thanks so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Want to want to set the scene here? Show off the kids. They're running through the activity course. We're going to be here all evening long. We are again at the Axiom, right off Meridian exit. And one special thing that Axiom is doing today and today only in honor of National Running Day for everyone that register registers for St. Luke's Fit One this fall on September 28th. Today, Axiom Fitness at all locations across the valley they will donate and match one dollar for everyone that registers for St. Luke's Fit One this fall so sign up sign up today it's a great deal friendly reminder you can sign up online as well just twenty dollars a fantastic deal i hope you take advantage of it we will be live all evening long here at the axiom fitness in meridian we will have much more coming up later on the news at four the news at four continues right after the break at craig swap and associates we've served clients from all over idaho from Caldwell to Twin Falls. We promise to come to you no matter where you live. 1-800-404-9000. Craig Swap and Associates, one call, that's all, dot com. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are gonna function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints up the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Hip, knee, or back pain? See if arch supports can help you at the Good Feet store. Scandinavian designs is celebrating dad this Father's Day. Save up to 20% on recliners and reclining sofas and sectionals like the Regine Power Reclining Sofa for just $9.99. With modern style for every budget, you can treat Dad to the best seat in the house. Plus, financing available when you shop online and in our new Boise location at 2509 South Broadway. Scandinavian Designs. We make it simple, you make it home. I'm in a tough spot. The two new DQ Reese's Lovers Blizzard Treats come in chocolate lovers and peanut butter lovers. 
Do I go Reese's Peanut Butter Lovers? With delicious Reese's Cups and loaded with extra peanut butter? Or Reese's Chocolate Lovers? With Reese's Cups and all that cocoa fudge? <laughs> What's a Reese's Loving Merman to do? Either way, I'm gonna need a little help eating it. DQ, happy tastes good. Ah. Mm. Thanks. It's Alive After Five, Boise's favorite free summer concert series. This week, it's the Band of Heathens. Downtown Boise is Alive After Five. Join the Boise Rescue Mission for Sleepless in the Valley. It's on June 14th and 15th at the Meridian Speedway. Now this all night fundraiser spotlights the plight of the homeless in the area and what you can do to help. It features guest speakers, food and games. Now this is a safe, fun family event and open to all ages. Spend the evening or even spend the night and learn how you can make an impact in our valley. Visit the Idaho Events Calendar for all the details. To post your local event, visit the Idaho Events Calendar at KTVB.com. We will get back to the celebration of Dee Sarton at the Boise Depot in just a minute. But first, some significant news out of North Idaho. Idaho's first case of measles is now confirmed in Lataw County. It is the state's first case of measles since 2001. And according to Idaho Public Health's North Central District, the person was at, a Gritman, was at Gritman Medical Center in Moscow on May 31st. Gritman staff noticed the symptoms immediately and isolated that person. All areas of the hospital that were that the individual visited were disinfected. But if you visited that facility, the Gritman Medical Facility on May 31st, anytime between 11 a.m. and 2.30 in the afternoon, and you are not vaccinated for, va for measles, you are asked to contact the Idaho Public Health North Central District. That number is 208-748-0400. We do have that number on our website as well if you need to contact that or need to look for that number once again. An Army, Nevada Army National Guard soldier was killed in a rollover accident last night in California. It happened at the National Training Center at Fort Irwin when a battle tank crashed. Three other soldiers in the tank were taken to the hospital and are stable, but right now the names are being withheld until next of kin can be notified. The soldier was part of a battalion based in Boise, along with battalions from Montana, Nevada, and Oregon. The cause of the accident is still under investigation. Back here in the Gem State, we have an update on the semi crash that caused some major backups on the interstate today. Idaho State Police say all westbound lanes are back open near the Franklin Caldwell exit. The wreck, the rollover there, happened at about 1130 this morning. All westbound lanes did not open back up, though, until just after 230. ISP has not said whether anyone was hurt, but multiple emergency vehicles and emergency responders, including an ambulance, were on the scene. And we do have an update to a mudslide that has been blocking the entrance to the Sawtooth Lodge in Grand Jean. Officials say the lodge will be closed until at least next Thursday while crews work to clean up the slide. That mudslide happened Sunday night. No one was injured and everyone was able to get out safely, but still no word on when the Grand Jean campground will reopen. And new at four, cyclist Lance, Lance Armstrong says he will ride in the Grand Fondo Hincape Boise race next month. And Cappy Sportswear received confirmation that Armstrong will take part in the ride coming up on July 14th. Armstrong is a former teammate of George and Cappy's. He also plans to record the Move podcast at the event. That race will be headquartered at Cecil D. Uh, Andrus Park. That's near the Idaho State Capitol building. And the family festival that accompanies this race will take place on the lawn after the event. Proceeds will benefit the Idaho Interscholastic Cycling League, which helps facilitate the development of high school and middle school cycling teams and clubs. So put that on your calendar for July 14th as we take a look at a view of Boise that we're seeing from the Boise Depot that D. Sarton is looking at with the rest of the KTVB crew celebrating D. Sarton's final broadcast. We're going to get back out to the Boise Depot in just a bit, but before we get to that, we're going to check in with Bree Eggers to get your forecast going into this weekend. We have some changes heading our way. A bathroom should be more than just the place to get ready for the day. It should be your favorite room in the house. And it will be when you trust it to America's most experienced remodel specialist, Rebath. Call Rebath for a free in-home design consultation today. 
Tonight, a special Ninja Warrior Night of Pets. Time to see some warriors get wet. Oh! And during Ninja, catch an exclusive sneak preview of the Secret Life of Pets 2. The Ninja Warrior Secret Life of Pets event. Tonight on NBC. Tonight. I see ghosts. Stop him. On the summer's new mystery thrill ride. We're out of leads. Reach out to Cassie. Can a deal with a dead man save the living? I help you, you help me. The In Between. Tonight on NBC. There's always something going on at Indian Creek Plaza in downtown Caldwell. This summer is packed with events and activities for your family. Head to Indian Creek Plaza for live concerts, Idaho's premier farm to fork farmers market, kids fairs, even local beer and wine festivals. While you explore downtown Caldwell, take a walk along the creek, stroll through unique stores, or dine at one of our restaurants featuring farm fresh ingredients. For a full calendar of events, visit IndianCreekPlaza.com or just stop by anytime. No invitation needed. You get rewarded for travel. You get rewarded for swiping your credit card. Heck, you even get rewarded for buying that sandwich. Isn't it about time you got rewarded for buying a car? At Peterson, every dollar you spend earns you reward points for discounts on new and used vehicles or parts and service. Introducing Peterson Rewards. To learn more about Peterson Rewards, check out petersoncars.com or any of our 10 dealerships. Peterson Rewards, only at petersoncars.com. Isn't it about time you got rewarded? Yes! I won! Ow! <laughs> That's gross, but it happens. Call Stanley Steamer and get back to clean. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. A bathroom should be more than just the place to get ready for the day. It should be your favorite room in the house, and it will be when you trust it to America's most experienced remodel specialist, Rebath. Call Rebath for a free in-home design consultation today. From News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. Well, a perfect day to kick off a live after five here on the Grove because it is well feeling like summer into the 80s for us here in the Boise area. Crystal clear blue skies, some high cirrus clouds. Fantastic. It's already feeling like the heat of summer is here to sizzle us for the next several weeks. But I have to tell you, because it's my job to warn you of the forecast, things are going to be changing this weekend and we're talking dramatic changes. So hold on to your hats. I'll say it once. I'll say it again. It's a roller coaster of temperature temperatures over the next few days. So the sunshine and the 80s not sticking around and even into tomorrow as a transition day, temperatures are going to be really tricky to pinpoint down for the west end of the valley. I'm looking at places like Caldwell and Ontario. You may only top out in the low to mid 70s, but places like Mountain Home could be in the mid to upper 80s once again. And that's a similar story for the Magic Valley as well, because there's a really powerful cold front that's moving in from the northwest and it will carry with it some gusty wind into tomorrow afternoon and evening and also possibly some strong thunderstorms as well. And because it is so much colder air that's moving in behind this, it is going to drop the snow levels in the mountain locations down to about 4,500 feet, possibly 5,000 feet. So that means Long Valley, McCall, Cascade, Donnelly, you could be getting some snow Friday into Saturday, summer snow. How about that? Well, crazier things have happened in Idaho weather. So again, these are big changes that we have to prepare for. If you have camping plans for the next couple of days, you want to take a close look at that forecast and plan ahead for the location that you're headed to. Now, specifically for tomorrow, seeing that cold front come through late in the day, firing up some thunderstorms for the valley locations, certainly for the mountains. We can expect some gusty winds, as I mentioned before, and also some small hail as a possibility. And then cruising into Friday, that's when it's chilly and it's also very windy. So expect highs on Friday only in the low 60s, quite a dramatic change from flirting with 90 degrees today. Then getting into the weekend. It's a slow improvement, but it does happen. Saturday, not bad, still in the 60s. We've got more sunshine breaking out for us, maybe still some lingering showers for the mountains. Into Sunday, I'd say personally, my pick day of the week, mid 70s. That is where we should be for this time of year. Very seasonable conditions, lots of sunshine to go around. Even for the mountains, it'll feel kind of like a spring's last blast for us before we head straight back into the sizzling summer temperatures. And I finally did it. I put the 90 degree forecast temperature in my seven day forecast for the first time this year. There it is. You see it in the middle of the week. That's where we'll be. So a dip back into spring, 
We're just dipping our toes to test out the water and then it's straight back to summer, which will be great because that'll be the next alive after five next Wednesday when it's 90 degrees is a high. Another great day to get out here on the Grove and enjoy all of this, uh, which will only get more and more exciting as we head into the rest of this evening. Uh, beautiful sunshine, warm temperatures, the band, they're getting going and we're getting things going here as well. So the party just getting started. Hope to see you down here and we'll be right back with the news at four after a quick break. There are lots of things we can't control. The neighbors yak at y'all. My ball is. But even though I'm on Medicare and Medicaid, I can control my health care. I have Molina Medicare Options Plus. I can see my doctor or a specialist at no cost. I get prescription drug coverage and over-the-counter benefits. Molina will give me a ride to the doctor. And home-delivered meals. Some things we can't control. My home drives people crazy. But my health care isn't one of them. Isn't that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, 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 no. If you're eligible for both Medicare and Medicaid, learn about Molina Medicare Options Plus. Call now, 844-871-2838. That's 844-871-2838. It's the Canyon County RV Extravaganza, June 13th through the 16th at the former Kmart in Nampa. Camping World of Caldwell and Nelson's RVs of Boise are cutting down prices on all new and used RVs with unbeatable offers. Take advantage of no payments for 90 days, low APR financing to qualified buyers, and zero down delivers. Don't miss the Canyon County RV Extravaganza, June 13th through 16th at the former Kmart building on the corner of Karcher Road and Caldwell Boulevard in Nampa kind of boring. Mm, you're not alone. I used to have a limited selection of shows on demand. And let me tell you, it got very boring. I got DirecTV last week, and they have more than 50,000 titles to choose from. But what about my problems? Classic narcissist. What was that? Nothing. TV without thousands of titles on demand is just kind of TV. Don't just kind of TV, Direct TV. Sign up for Direct TV and get HBO included for a year. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. You have the courage to face your addiction. But it can be overwhelming. And you may need help to get back what's important to you. If you have an alcohol problem, we can help. North Point Recovery. I was doing live shots from Germany every night back here to Channel 7. And Carolyn Holly was on the set here on my shows that I normally anchored. And so I would be pitching back and forth to her. And we were using the NBC satellite truck to, uh, to, to do that. And so before we would go live on the air, Carolyn and I could usually have a couple of minutes to chat about what we were gonna talk about and how it was gonna go. And the guys in the truck from NBC could hear our conversation. And so one night, I think it was one of the last nights, uh, we got done and the guys in the truck said, hey, come here, I wanna ask you something. And so I went over to the truck and I thought, oh, I feel like I'd probably done something wrong or, you know, because this was NBC. And we want to ask you a question. Do you and that chick in Boise really get along as well as you act like you do? And I was just, I was just mystified. I said, well, yeah, she's like my best friend. No. You, you, you mean you're an, another female anchor at your, tel your friends? And I said, yeah, we're really good friends. And they said, wow, that didn't happen very often. That's, that's rare. And I really had never thought about that before, but Carolyn and I did have a, and do have a very special relationship and I treasure the friendship we've had. But we decided early on to have each other's backs, to cover for each other in terms of, you know, we had small children and my children might get sick and, you know, boy, Carolyn was right there to do my shows. And, and I hope I did the same for her because I certainly always wanted to. You know, we really tried to help each other. Sometimes people would try to, you know, make us, oh, well, what do you really think about Carolyn, you know? I love her. 
And I do love her. And she's here with us today, which I'm so grateful for. Oh, because my goodness, We had to girl. do this for you a couple of years. Has it been a couple of years it's ago? Been a, it's been a couple of years. It's so oh. great. First of all, may I just say to you, congratulations, Thank you. Thank Thank you you so Thank you. Oh. Thank you. I mean, this is something that Dee has wanted to do to spend more time with your yeah, family. Yeah, yeah. And I got the phone call where she said, I think it's gonna work, should I do it or not? And of course I was like, are you kidding? <laughs> this will she knows me well. I just said, Idaho doesn't know what they're gonna do if Dee Sarton's not on TV, would you all agree? And I was like, yeah. but at the same time, I said, it is your turn. Yeah, and it Carolyn turn. has known, known <laughs> me well all these years. First, first call I made. And you know, Carolyn, I, I thought back at that, do, working on that mm. piece uh, with our crew, remembering our early career <sighs> and how really we had to buck what was a trend in our, in our industry to be so competitive against each other. Oh, yes. And, and well, shall I say, I believe we were the first new mothers to return to TV. Oh, I think we so. were here locally. Yeah, yeah here yeah, locally, yeah. we yeah. were trailblazers. We yeah. didn't know. Yeah. what it was going to be like and that is when we really did have each other's backs i would say let me tell you one really i gotta tell you one quick, <laughs> okay quick, which one? Cute, cute story okay so we're sitting in the newsroom carolyn and i had our desks next to each other for some period of time but there was a young producer who was just new to the station and okay. she was sitting on the other side of me and carolyn and i were just chit-chatting you know about life and she said oh dear i gotta tell you what happened yesterday with colby i think yeah. it was her son we we're in the kitchen and I made him a peanut butter sandwich and he didn't want it. And you know what that little stinker did? I said, well, what did he do? And she said, he threw it on the floor and he stomped on it. He was like a year I, old or I two know, years yeah, old. He not was a little, little guy. Not 33 and then like he, he is the Swedish young man now. So Colby, <laughs> but anyway, the, let's just, you right. He just yeah, he smushed it in there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Carolyn can be a little dramatic. <laughs> so Carolyn gets up a little while later and leaves and that producer, she looked over at me and she says, well, I can tell you one thing no child of mine is ever going to do that. <laughs> so I took that young producer and I, I did, I took her face in my hands and I said, you remember this day because darling, someday your child will do exactly that thing to you. But we shared so many of those oh, mom moments together. We did, yeah. you know, um, our kids grew up yeah. at the same time together. Yeah. We went through all of that. But I just, can I even go back further than that? Okay. So Dee kind of took a hiatus during the, those 40 years. Am I right? Like you were with Channel 7. For about a year and a half. About a then, year, but yeah. she was super popular because I'm going to tell you why. And then you went another, you went to the Tri-Cities. And, and, yeah, and then and, I came back with my right. husband. But before yeah. you came back, I got hired. And I'm in the grocery store. I'm at Albertsons. And I keep having people say, hi, Dee, to me. And I'm like, and you had no idea. I had no idea. I hadn't met her yet. I was like, who is D? You know D Sarton. Hi, D Sarton. <laughs> but anyway, I said, finally told somebody, no, I'm not D Sarton. And they said, oh, that's right. You could never be as nice as her. <laughs> oh, Carolyn. Now that's That not is true. the truth. <laughs> but why I give you that story is because we do look like sisters. Yeah, we know yeah, we, we got do. that a lot. We're, we're, I, I, my sister, I wish I could bring my wait, sister up here. Wait, is here? Yeah, she's here and she's going to just not want to come up here at all. <laughs> but look at my sister. Come. This is my sister, <laughs> and my sister, who now has, <laughs> who's been sitting on the ground. Yes. But okay, so this is my so who, sister yes. Gail. These and, are the sisters. Yeah. So I, you can kind of see why people might not <laughs> just think of that. But you two, they oh, always. Oh, well, we've always said we're TV sisters, sisters and yeah, it is, true. and you know yeah, what a family yeah, yeah, that we've yeah, been. Me too but are, yeah. we've had great times. I have so many stories, but I'm gonna let you be up here too because I think no. you would agree with me. And the one thing I did want to say to everybody, and I've told you this many a times, <laughs> is D. Sarton is our angel on earth. She oh. has been there through the greatest of times and the hardest of times mm -hmm. as well. That's a hard and always remained my friend D, mm -hmm. my supporter as mm -hmm. well. And I have often said that God really made it made us lucky to be in the same place at the same time. Well, isn't that the truth? Mm -hmm. We were so blessed. And oh. I've shared a lot of those stories with my sister. My, now, she's quite a bit younger than I am, I'll just tell you. <laughs> Kim, can I get you to come up here? My come, other, over, come on my side over come here, Come on over Kim. here, because, you know, this one of the things a, about being the older sister, and yeah, Kim, come on over. There's Let's so many wires, over. Yeah, we've got a little hard time. <laughs> Um, there, oh, you got it. There, there we go. Here How we are we doing? Here we go. Lighting, better is, lighting, girl. This is live TV, so <laughs> forgiveness. But um, here, you. Who's got? Who needs a mic? You need Gail. a mic, mm -hmm. Gail. <laughs> 
you know, being the older one, yeah. since, since I am retired, <laughs> you know, I really would like to say that to people. You know, we, as, as women, um, early on, it was kind of a new pioneer for us, and, and you were younger, should I say how much younger? Nine years younger than me. So I always was really tickled that I could say that, you know what, you can be, you can have those partnerships with, you know, the people. And Kim, it has been such a joy, I mean, absolute, utter joy to and that's the, the hiring of channel 7 to hire someone who has that same spirit Thank and that you. same love for our community and I mean it's just you're every you're just everything mm -hmm. that I could have ever wanted to see as someone that's carrying on that torch. Thank so, you. Thank I've you. learned from the best. Oh, Keep well, the legacy going. I have learned from the best, mm -hmm. and I know I'm speaking for Maggie on this too. Mm -hmm. Trailblazers, indeed <laughs> you were. <laughs> and I feel blessed to have you women in my life. I and, really do. And we know that you're going to blaze a lot of trails, and you already are. You already are. But know. this, you know, this is a real representation of what KTVB is all about. You always are family. Yeah. And, and your family. Mm -hmm. And, and family is family, family as Channel well. 7 yeah. matters, and that's yeah. another thing. Okay, they're telling me to wrap. Oh, <laughs> so, but it was you funny. You two are so cute, go though. On. I mean, they could just <laughs> talk, and I love hearing it, though. I love hearing oh, it, but we do thanks, have to go Gail. to commercial yes. break. We yes. have a lot more coming up of Dee's final news at 4 right after this. I loved it. I loved hearing <laughs> you guys. I loved it. Paying too much for glasses is just wrong. Check out the right sale at iMart Express and get a complete pair for $20. That's right, one pair for $20. Need progressives? Two pairs start at just $76.92. Check out the right sale at iMart Express. Come to Zoo Days June 8th, where we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Very Hungry Caterpillar. You can feed the butterflies in Zoo Boise's exhibit, Butterflies in Bloom. A walk through greenhouse full of hundreds of beautiful butterflies. Watch the zoo animals get treats and toys, plus a meet and greet with a very hungry caterpillar, and much more. It's all at Zoo Days, June 8th, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at Zoo Boise. Please be on sale. Woo! Save 300 bucks! I'm two for two, baby. During the extended Memorial Day sale at Furniture Row, you'll find tons of great savings. Like the more you buy, the more you save. That's right. Save a hundred bucks on every thousand you spend. Financing? How about four years no interest? Special buy? Check. What else you got? Free stuff when you spend $29.99 or more. Woo! Everything's coming up, Cindy. Hurry. The extended Memorial Day sale at Furniture Row ends soon. Summer is here. The RV and boat liquidators are back at the Village at Meridian. Friday, May 31st through Sunday, June 9th. Get exclusive show pricing on top boat and RV brands. Save thousands with special finance incentives to fit any budget. Payments start at just $97 per month. One minute. Memories in this Aspen Trail 1700 bunkhouse. Starting at only $179 down, $179 per month. Camping and boating season is upon us. Make sure you're ready. May 31st through June 9th at the Village in Meridian. Your adventure awaits. Well, the damage doesn't look too bad. This check should cover the repairs. Oh, okay. uh, also, you're not covered for a rental vehicle, but we gave you an allowance that you can get to and from and pick up your vehicle. How's that sound? Uh, sure. Great, fantastic. If you could sign right here. A little over how many minutes? You can get on with your life. Hey, a smiling cheater is still a cheater. If you want all your money, better call Lidster Frost. 333-3333. Come into Arctic Circle and try an above-the-rim raspberry shake made with Utah-grown raspberries or a delicious Oreo shake made with real Oreo cookies. Arctic Circle, where the good stuff is. You're watching Idaho's News Channel 7. This is the News at 4. Good afternoon, welcome back to the News at 4, coming to you live from Axiom Fitness here in Meridian off Meridian Road exit. I'm gonna step out of the way real quick, kind of break things down for you. Obviously, registration is open. Happy National Running Day to all of you out there celebrating today in this evening. Picture perfect day for you to celebrate. But with National Running Day, it is the beginning of St. Luke's Fit One registration is now officially open. September 28th is race day for this year's 
2019 St. Luke's Fit One. Obviously a very special day and in honor of National Running Day, we have a special offer for all the runners out there are gonna sign up for St. Luke's Fit One this fall. $20 in honor of National Running Day running day all three races the 5k the 10k and the half marathon if you want to sign up only twenty dollars now one guy that i know is very excited about today and the days leading up and race day i'm joined now by dr david pate dr pate so good to see you again you great are the president ceo of st luke's great to see you again i great understand it's been a busy day for you already. It, it has. It's been very busy. We're all getting signed up ourselves, taking advantage of today, National Running Day, to get signed up for the event. Very exciting. Have you celebrated National Running Day yet? Not yet. I'll get with my grandkids tonight and we'll celebrate. Now, you mentioned to me before this interview, you signed up online, which yes. people out there that are interested, they can sign up online right yep. now as we speak. I understand very easy to do so yeah i was i had a little trepidation i had 11 people to sign up and i thought oh boy this is going to take me a long time i got into it it was really easy and it saved my past year's data and uh, so it was real nice i was really pleased about that you're obviously no stranger to fit one no why is this event so special to st luke's well you know first of all it goes to a great cause supporting uh, idaho's only children's hospital and we do great things for for kids and and so that fundraising really helps us a lot but the more important thing is is to promote health uh, we don't want to be taking care of sick people. We want you to be healthy. And a great part about being healthy is get active, get out there. And you know, you don't have to be a jock. Just uh, get out there, move, have fun. Lots of medical research that shows just moving uh, decreases your risks of all kinds of diseases, including cancer. So we want everybody to get out, bring your whole family, bring your friends, have fun. And, and it, it's a great time. Family are fair for you guys, the Pate family. Yes. Are the grandkids signed up all yet? They're all signed up, so I'll have five of them this year. Wow. Uh, this will be a new to... record. Oh, <laughs> cannot wait. Dr. Pate, thanks so much for your Thank time. You. Really appreciate it's great it. Great to see you. As always, great Thank to see you, you again. You. We're going to have much more coming up later on on the news at five. In the meantime, we're going to send it over to Bree Eggers now. Yeah, well, you know what? After everybody's registered, only $20 for any distance. That's incredible. Then you want to get out and start training. And I got to tell you, we got some great running weather in the forecast because we have some cooler temperatures in store for us. We've got summer with us today, but that is changing. So I'm going with the good news, bad news. I'm going to try to flip it and spin it glass half full as we do dip down into the 60s. That's some really good running weather. Although tomorrow afternoon and evening, we'll want to watch out for some thunderstorms. Now they arrive late in the day. I count on them for the mountain locations starting in the early afternoon and for the valley we wait until probably around sunset to see those storms rolling through but some of them could prove to be strong meaning gusty winds we could see some small hail and that is starting to initiate that drop in temperatures into Friday some big changes in store for us Friday into Saturday less of a summer like feel feels more like spring with temperatures dipping down into the 60s now luckily it is a quick dip for us and it's right back to summer standards in fact as we get into next Next week we're going to pump those temperatures back up and I have put my first 90 degree day in the seven day forecast and that's appropriate for next Wednesday because that will be the second alive after five of the season. Of course, today is the first alive after five here on the Grove. We're just getting started at five o'clock so people are starting to fill up and enjoy the fountains in this wonderful heat and so we're going to be out here enjoying the party and also celebrating the wonderful D Sarton. Right now, we're going to continue the news at four after a quick break. Picture this, Red Robin's new $10 bundle. Get one of these three gourmet burgers, bottomless fries, and a bottomless beverage for 10 bucks. All day, every day. But hurry in, it'll be over in a flash. Red Robin. Yum. They all do something every day, like basketball. Like track. Like working. Can you help me with number 12? Sure. Like teaching. Like making friends. Let's make engage driving one of them.
have the courage to face your addiction. But it can be overwhelming, and you may need help to get back what's important to you. If you have an alcohol or addiction problem, we can help. North Point Recovery. It's the Canyon County RV Extravaganza, June 13th through the 16th at the former Kmart in Nampa. Camping World of Caldwell and Nelson's RVs of Boise are cutting down prices on all new and used RVs with unbeatable offers. Take advantage of no payments for 90 days, low APR financing to qualified buyers, and zero down delivers. Don't miss the Canyon County RV Extravaganza, June 13th through 16th at the former Kmart building on the corner of Karcher Road and Caldwell Boulevard in Nampa. Picture this, Red Robin's new $10 bundle. Get one of these three gourmet burgers, bottomless fries, and a bottomless beverage for 10 bucks all day, every day. But hurry in, it'll be over in a flash. Red Robin. Yum. Tonight, a special Ninja Warrior Night of Pets. Time to see some warriors get wet. Oh! And during Ninja, catch an exclusive sneak preview of the Secret Life of Pets 2. The Ninja Warrior Secret Life of Pets event. Tonight on NBC. Tonight. I see ghosts. Stop him. On the summer's new mystery thrill ride. We're out of leads. Reach out to Cassie. Can a deal with a dead man save the living? I help you. You help me. The In-Between. Tonight on NBC. Welcome back to the final day on KTVB for our D Sarton. And I'm standing here with Team D. There's her brother, there's her mom, you already saw her sister, here's her son-in-law, one of her grandbabies, her daughter, her husband, her mother-in-law, another one of her grandbabies, <laughs> grandma, the whole thing. We got Team D here, and we got sleeping, we got sleeping, and here's another. What are you gonna say to grandma when she comes home and never has to leave for work. Mm -hmm. You told me you were gonna say yay. Yay. Yay, exactly. Also part of Team D is the first cop that she spent with a ride along. This is Chief Bill Bones. You were the first officer that Dee did a ride along with, and now her son-in-law, because she was so inspired by that night, she talked him into becoming a Nampa cop. I just want to know what the hell, how come she aged like that and I aged like this? <laughs> <laughs> Something's wrong here. You gotta give me your secret, Dee. No, it was, it was a long time ago, but really on behalf of the Boise Police Department, on behalf of this city, D has a heart for this community and it's not just on camera it's I see her all the time at events and what she has done to touch lives and and actually bring Idaho together and Boise together to care about each other that's part of what defines Boise and who we are today and really I just want to say thanks we are going to miss her so much it's a huge loss for the city of Boise it's a huge loss for the Boise Police Department I said I wasn't going to choke up, but you just kind of put a lump in my throat, or maybe it's my allergies. But she is a big part of this community, has been, and always will be. Yeah, she's got a special place in my heart, and she has a special place in the hearts and of every Boise police officer. So you, you've made a difference. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Appreciate it. <laughs> you may not have heard that. D said. I hope that prevents me from getting a parking or a speeding ticket. I never, Not going to happen. I never speed. I feel I like never I, speed. I feel like you don't. What but do along think? those lines, Chief, look at these guys. These guys are with Idaho Special Olympics, Boys and Girls Club, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, and you brought D some flowers, didn't you? Yeah. Yes, I. Yeah. Yeah, and that was so touching. I've known this kid since he was a Boys and Girls Club member this big, and he's always been a huge super fan, and so have you. Thanks for being here. And thanks to Team D right here. <laughs> Gotta go. We're going to take a break, but keep it going for D, you guys. The final show is here. 
surge of the measles outbreak. Number one myth is autism. Yes. And there's no link to vaccination. Absolutely not. Do we know if they've been able to save anything? We are all waiting to see. We still smell the smoke and here. After an accident, we find that most people don't want to sue anyone. They just feel stuck. They worry about their future. You're Sometimes proud of me. You just need someone to talk to, someone that can walk you through the process. Well, here at The Advocates, we're ready to help. That's what an advocate does. This town is on the move, and we're moving forward with you, meeting your ever-growing communication needs with ever faster connections. Now we're taking our commitment to you one step further, Cable One Business is becoming Sparklight Business. Connecting people to one another. Connecting your business to the world. Connecting what's now to what's next. Sparklight Business. Go anywhere from here. I'm in a tough spot. The two new DQ Reese's Lovers Blizzard treats come in chocolate lovers and peanut butter lovers. What's a Reese's loving merman to do? Either way, I'm gonna need a little help eating it. DQ, happy tastes good. Thanks. Harmony Hills is Idaho's newest luxury assisted living and memory care center. The highest quality of specialized compassionate care. Spend your days doing the things you love. Cherish time with family and friends. Harmony Hills is proud to announce the grand opening of their brand new Meridian location. To celebrate, Harmony Hills is offering $1,000 off the first month. Come into our Meridian location or visit us at HarmonyHillsAssistedLiving.com for more information. In a time of strife and unrest, what the world needs now is rain, a tribute to the Beatles. Come together and celebrate peace, love, and the best of Abbey Road performed live. Come together. Rain, a tribute to the Beatles. Friday, June 21st at the Morrison Center. Tickets on sale now at the box office and Ticketmaster.com. Call us today and have all of your questions answered by an advocate attorney. The sooner you call, the sooner we can get to work for you and the better we can help. We'll figure out exactly how much your case is worth and fight for every dollar you deserve. So don't wait, call the advocates today. From News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. Well, I really think that there's probably no better place to talk about the weather than out in the weather. And we have won the weather lottery today for the first alive after five down here, downtown Boise in the Grove Plaza, starting to fill up as everything gets kicked off at five o'clock. And I already got a sneak preview of the band. Fantastic. This is the first alive after five. So just kicking off the event for the summer and it'll continue all the way through August 28th. But we don't even need to think about the end of alive after five because we're just getting started down here and it is perfect weather for this event. Look at all the kiddos in the fountain. It's so sweet with temperatures well into the 80s today. Lots of sunshine to enjoy for us. Just some really high, beautiful clouds out there. And as we head into the next couple of days, there are some big changes that you need to be prepared for. So I guess that's my job. Give you the forecast so you can plan ahead, especially if you have plans to head up to the mountain locations, maybe for some camping for the weekend. Second half of the weekend looks fantastic, but unfortunately, cooler temperatures means that the snow level will be dropping to about 4,500 feet. So we're talking McCall, Cascade, Donnelly. You could get a little bit of summertime snow. Weirder things have happened, right? We'll be preparing for that as the temperatures really cool off. Our cold front blast through tomorrow afternoon and evening and that's what's going to bring about these dramatic changes. It could even fire up some noise, make some noise as it moves through gusty wind, thunderstorms. We could see some small hail and of course some heavy rain in spots. I'd count on it if you're in the mountain locations for the valley. It's just a chance and really focused on the later part of the day, but it will get windier as the day goes on. Still fairly mild tomorrow and then into the 60s Friday, Saturday until we rebound back into summertime standards for next week and for the next Alive After Five next Wednesday. And I also just want to say real quick, since it's a celebration about D, thank you, D. Thank you for being a trailblazer. Thank you for being an example of grace and poise and professionalism. You really are something special, and I really, really am going to miss you. Best of luck. We'll be right back with the news at four after a quick break. Man, these Red Bull slushes are invigorating, right? I know it, man. I'm feeling confident, feeling pumped. I want to jump this thing. I don't know if that's such a good idea, TJ. No, man, I need help. Can we jump this thing? Oh, yeah, of course. Rush in for Sonic's new Red Bull slushes. Half price during happy hour. 
How long are you going to wait to deal with your pain pill addiction? Worried about your withdrawals? We know how bad your symptoms are, and Schick Shadle Hospital has the solution. If you're ready to quit, call 800 Craving now. Schick offers medically safe and comfortable detox, followed by Schick's proven 10 day treatment. It's covered by most insurance, so call now. See if you can come in today. Stop the suffering and quit pain pills for good. Call 800 Craving now. That's 800 Craving. So now, Dish has over 80,000 on-demand movies and shows. 80,000. Why? I mean, it would take you years to get through 80,000. Thing is, it's not about 80,000. It's about one. That one movie you saw that one time on a first date with that one girl. That's why. Dish, tuned in to you. This cake batter shake is like my favorite yellow cake. It reminds me of licking the mixing bowl as a kid. Lucky you, I had to sneak a lick while it was still being mixed. Wow, that sounds kind of dangerous. It was. In fact, it was very whiskey. Don't miss out on cake batter shakes with real ice cream. Half price after eight for Sonic Nights. Help a neighbor in need, spruce up our community, and have a chance to win some valuable prizes. Buy a bucket of paint for NeighborWorks Boise's annual Paint the Town. Each bucket that you buy helps paint a house for someone who needs help and gets you a raffle ticket for a chance to win one of three great prizes. Two round-trip tickets for anywhere Alaska Airlines flies, a barbecue grill, or an Amazon Echo. The prize drawing will be held June 9th, so buy a bucket of paint for Paint the Town today. I know. To Isn't say goodbye good like that. Like he that. always has something up his sleeve. Audience sleep. participation. It wasn't me. <laughs> you were the star, though. 75 people wanted to sing you out. Oh, you know what? This The, the lyrics were something I could have never dreamed of. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were, they were pretty special, Mark. You, you, you outdid yourself. You made me a little nervous this last week. I knew you were yeah, working on something. Yeah, there were a few people that were a little nervous. Yeah, but I bet. <laughs> I meant what I said. All of the things you did and never wore a frown and always made all of us feel so special. And I think that's why you have been such loyal viewers of the news at four, five, six, and 10. Anytime D is on TV, people tune in because they know they're gonna get quality television, journalism, and they're gonna be able to trust everything you say. Well, may I just say it's because I'm with a great team and the team that I've had at Channel 7 has been so incredible. We say it and we mean it. We're family and uh, we trust each other and that makes a big difference when you work with people that you trust. So thanks you guys. Even thank you for the song. <laughs> Sweet Oh Sartan. yeah, you better we we have, stick around. We have a lot more goodbyes coming up next on the News at 5.